An attachment condition is a unique object that you take off like a count condition and is quantified as an each, but can also deduct quantities from a parent condition. For example, you might create a door attachment that deducts the square footage of the door from a wall while counting the door, or a light fixture attachment that deducts the square footage of the fixture from a ceiling while counting the fixture. To create an attachment condition, navigate to the Conditions panel on the left side of the screen, and then select the blue plus sign button in the bottom left corner. This opens the Condition Properties window. Here, you can define the condition's name and dimensions, as well as choose the quantity results on which you want to report for the condition. There are five basic information fields at the top, and three tabs below. Let's start by discussing those five fields at the top. Begin by choosing the appropriate style from the Style dropdown. In this case, let's choose Attachment. It is vitally important that you choose the correct style for the item you're trying to build, because the style defines what dimensions and quantity results you can establish for the condition. Next, give the condition a name. You can put as much detail as you want in the name, but keep in mind that there's a Notes field at the bottom where you can enter more detailed assembly information. After you name the condition, you can assign a type. A type is simply a category you can assign to help organize conditions together with other like conditions. You can either type an option into the field, or you can click the magnifying glass icon to the right to select a type that has already been entered into your database table. Beneath the type field is the layer field. Here, you can assign the conditions to a specific layer. Layers then allow you to hide or display specific conditions as needed. See the video on layers for more details. The last of the five fields at the top displays a condition number. This number automatically populates and increases by one with each new condition that you create, but you do have the ability to enter a custom number if needed. Now, let's take a look at the fields located within the General tab, starting with the Dimension fields. Attachments are set up like count conditions and allow you to indicate a height, a width, and depending on the shape you choose, a depth. The Shape drop-down list is on the right side of the window. Be mindful of which shape you choose. Some shapes work as attachments for linear parent items, and some work as attachments for area parent items. The basic shapes at the top of the list work on area takeoff, and some of the more specialized shapes, like the door and window markers, work on linear takeoff. Let's select a shape that best represents an area attachment item. For example, you'd select a rectangle for a 2x4 light fixture, or a square for a 2x2 fixture. Once you've selected the shape, go back and enter the appropriate dimensions. Remember that OST reads the last two digits of any dimension you enter as inches when using Imperial Measurement Mode. The Appearance section allows you to designate how the condition displays when you take it off on the plans. First, you can assign a color for the condition by clicking on the color box. A variety of basic colors display, but you can also select from the custom colors along the right. Once you've selected your preferred color, then you can indicate the desired pattern. You have multiple options, with transparent appearing the most like a highlighter or colored pencil where you can still see the plan behind the takeoff. Once you've set how you want the condition to display, you can choose up to three different quantity results for each condition. The first result for an attachment condition always defaults to count, measured as an each, but there are a variety of other results you can choose from within the drop-down field. This list includes the previously mentioned count option, as well as options for total height, perimeter, surface area, and volume. This list is unique to attachment style conditions, and you can select from these options for any of the three quantity result fields. Once you indicate the quantities on which you want to report, be sure to indicate the correct unit of measure to the right of each one. At the bottom of the window, you can add notes for your condition. This allows you to more easily distinguish similar items from each other and indicate specific assembly or construction details to help you price the item out later. After you've entered all your identifying information, you can press OK to save the condition. Before you begin performing takeoff with the attachment, let's first take a look at the properties for the parent item. Double click on the parent condition in the Conditions panel on the left. In the Condition Properties window, let's take a look at the Results section. Unlike a linear parent, which automatically has its quantities deducted by an attachment, you must take specific action on an area condition for an attachment to deduct quantities. To do this, change your area quantity to read Area minus Attachments. If you are measuring perimeter and want the attachments to increase perimeter, then be sure to change the perimeter measurement to Perimeter plus Attachments. 
you must also make a similar adjustment for volume measurements as well. Press OK once you've made the necessary quantity result adjustments. Now, you can perform takeoff with the attachment condition. And when you do, the quantities for both the attachment and the parent update correctly. In the event that you forget some of these rules regarding attachments, note that you can open the condition properties window for any attachment condition and go to the advanced tab. There, the backout rules display in their own section for you to review as needed.